you are future material management airmen, and that means you have a huge responsibility. Our airmen and aircraft can be deployed at any time, and in order to work efficiently and effectively, we need LRS to be just as efficient and effective. In this lesson, you will learn about the Electrostatic Discharge Program, also known as ESD, identifying ESD items with type cargo codes and how to properly store them, the Shelf Life Program, and identifying shelf life items with type 1 and type 2 codes. First, let's talk about what an Electrostatic Discharge item is. An ESD item contains material sensitive to static discharge, which could damage internal components. Items can be damaged by seemingly undetectable electrostatic discharge. To properly identify an ESD item, you will need to verify that the type cargo code of 3 is assigned to that specific national stock number. This can be verified in the Enterprise Solution Supply System. The warehouse personnel will ensure that ESD items are properly labeled with an ESD sticker on the outside of the property, and the type cargo code of 3 is loaded in the item record. Warehouse personnel should be verifying all items are marked properly before storing them in locations. All items should be stored in the following packaging. Paper products, plastic connector caps, plastic bubble wrap, and plastic trays. If any items have unmated connectors that are exposed to physical or environmental damage, or are in an area where such damage could occur, the item shall be covered with a protective ESD cap. When opening or handling ESD items, a static control workstation should be used. Shelf life items are assets that are effective, useful, or suitable for consumption for a limited period of time. They possess deteriorative or unstable characteristics that will cause the asset to perform unsatisfactorily if used after the date of expiration. Each shelf life item should have either an alpha, type 1, or numeric, type 2, code assigned to the item record to identify the particular asset as shelf life. You will be able to find the appropriate code in ESS, such as the type cargo code for ESD items. Type 1 alpha codes are non-extendable, meaning once the expiration date is reached, the asset is no longer suitable for use. While Type 2 numeric codes are extendable and can be extended past their expiration date if authorized by the Shelf Life Extension System. Shelf Life items should be consolidated into one central stockroom or warehouse to limit the amount of travel time between locations during an inspection or surveillance. Warehouse personnel will make sure the label on each item is clearly stated with the expiration date and should be stored with the least amount of shelf life remaining to the front. When issuing shelf items, the technique of first in, first out, FIFO, will be used. Frequent checks should be conducted by physically checking each location for the following. Bin labels match property and location. Ensure FIFO is being used and verify the shelf life expiration date. Let's go over what you learned. In this lesson, we covered about the electrostatic discharge program, also known as ESD, identifying ESD items with type cargo codes and how to properly store them, the shelf life program, and identifying shelf life items with type one and type two codes.